Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to DIY Design by CCW. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Well, today, everyone, as you can see, I am jumping right into a DIY. Um, today's DIY is going to be an easy one. And uh, what you're going to see me do is how to glam up uh, thrifted vases uh, so that you can use in your decor. Now, I'm actually going to do three different uh, but very similar shaped vases uh, for this DIY. However, I filmed one um, to, you know, shorten the video a little bit because actually the process for all three is going to be the same. Now, of course, I'll let you see all three of them at the end. Now, what you see me doing here is I'm beginning by just trimming the uh, bling wrap that I intend to use in the video. Now, this bling wrap um, is... Uh, really nice it's actually fabric trim and i get it from um joanne fabrics and again i'm gonna make sure that i all i link as always the information about the fabric trim down in my description box but i'm also going to include this uh, school number so that you can actually find it and um just beautiful 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 and i've used it before so we're going to use it uh, here again now the first thing i'm going to do is just take this bling wrap and wrap it around the neck of the vase um, you'll see that's really simple i'm just adding some um, uh, some of my glue which i prefer to use e6000 quick hold uh, please use any adhesive you're comfortable with and if you'd like to purchase that I have linked that down in my description box for you now um, once I get it all around then we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next part of this DIY All right, guys, so you're going to notice in this part of the video that I've speeded things up a little bit just to move the video along uh, a little bit quicker. Now, um, what I'm doing here is decorating the skirt of the vase. Now, um, you guys probably, if you've watched this channel, then you know this already. But if you don't or you're new, um, when I decorate a vase, I like to think of it as like a fancy ball gown. So um, I love vases that have the cinched end point, and uh, I consider that more the belt uh, of the vase. And um, here, the bottom part, I consider that the skirt. So what I'm doing is using, again, some simple fabric trim that you can purchase uh, from, again, um, I buy most of my fabric trim from um, Joanne Fabrics. And uh, this fabric trim, actually, it came six across, and I actually cut it into three across in order to do uh, this decor or this decoration. So I decided to go straight up and down and uh, top to bottom. And I'm going to do the same thing at the top or the blouse or the, uh, you know, just above the belt uh, of the vase and kind of match it up for a dramatic effect. And I'm going to do that on both sides, uh, as you'll see, before we go into uh, the next part of the DIY. All right, guys, so now what I'm going to do is to add a little more contrast to the vase. I'm going to add uh, a different bling wrap, type of bling wrap, just that normal bling wrap um, that you can find. I think it's pretty standard. And I'm just going to add that to the opposite sides uh, or opposing sides uh, of the vase, following the same format. I'm just going to go a little bit thicker, uh, a little wider rather, for the dramatic effect. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to 
um, loose uh, part of it down on the bottom or the skirt, like as I re like to refer to it. And then I'm going to match that up on the blouse or the, the upper part of the vase. And uh, I really like how this ended up turning out. Um, can't wait till you see how this, how they look together. Like I said, I did do three vases like this that are shaped very much alike, uh, both just a little bit different um, symmetry, but but uh, they really make a nice trio when you see them all together. And if you hang on to the end, of course, you're going to see that. Um, now, I'll let you go ahead, listen to the music and watch me finish this up. And then when I come back, we're going to be doing a little simple makeover on a beautiful mirror that I found uh, at the thrift shop. Guys, I love thrifting. Absolutely love it. You know, I think I spent altogether maybe $5 for maybe less than that for the mirror as well as the three vases. And um, you can't beat that. And then a little bit more for the embellishments. And voila, I've got some nice decor. All right, guys. So I'll be back uh, in a second or two when we update the beautiful mirror. And then we'll do the final reveal. All right, guys, so here I'm going to show you how I embellished uh, this beautiful, beautiful mirror that uh, mirror tray that I found at, at my local thrift shop. Now, it's so pretty. I really could have just left it like it is, but of course, I'm always extra. So, you know, I'm going to do just a little something. So what I decided to do is just to apply uh, some gems in a couple of different areas to just give it just a little more decor, a little more sparkle, let's just say, because again, that's that's me. But um, you'll see here that I'm using or applying the gems with my uh, typical glue that I use. Now, I'll tell you, I did end up having to take the gems off and reapplying them with hot glue. I'm still working on a solution um, many times the hot glue, you end up having to reapply your gems, but the good thing about the hot glue is that it doesn't discolor the gems. I've yet to find a uh, glue, permanent glue, that I can use that doesn't discolor the gems. So, um, but I thought it, you know, wouldn't make sense to film it again because I, I kept the layout the same when I reapplied them. But just wanted to let you know that I did have to do it again with the hot glue. But this will give you some idea <clears throat> of what the mirror is going to look like. And uh, guys, after this, hang on because I'll be back for the final reveal. Hey guys, this is how everything turned out. I'm, I really like these DIYs. Um, so this is the vase that you saw me do on camera. And this is one of the ones that I did off camera with the same look or the same design. So now let's get a closer look at the uh, vase that was done on camera. I think it's really, really beautiful. Again, all of this stuff, I thrifted five bucks guys for everything um you know th i love the look i think it's clean i think it's totally glam um 
but beautiful. And I, I can certainly use it somewhere in my home. I love the way that all three vases look together. And even though they each have a little bit of a different shape, I think they're beautiful. There's a close-up of the mirror so you can see how it turned out by adding the gems to the handle. I think, uh, to the handles rather, I think that was the perfect touch. Now there's a vase. Uh, you guys know I always show you my these uh, in the final reveal, other DIYs, that vase was done uh, previously. I'll make sure that I link that in the description box as well. Now, there's a close-up of the um, one of the vases. Again, if you notice, though, or the vase is done off camera. If you notice, those are a little different because they each have the two, um, what I call indentations or belt areas where I was able to attach some bling wrap. Here's a side view of the larger vase that we did on camera. Guys, the other DIY that you see in this video, I'll make sure that I link those videos as well in the description box and in the iCards. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're not a member, I really hope that you'll subscribe today. And like I say at the end of every video, can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. Have a great day or a great night. Bye-bye.